Hi, I'm Miriam. It's a cold, wet and wintry day in South Yorkshire, so I thought I'd get the kids out of the house and we'd do a little tour of some of the parks and playgrounds in the Penison and Stocksbridge constituency. We're here in Glenhow Park in Warncliffe Side. This is the playground area and up the hill in the wood is amazing walks for families, bridges, rivers to explore. There's even a great rope swing which is really fun. Can't guarantee it's passed any European health and safety standards, but it is good fun. We're in Oxley Park in Stocksbridge, which has got this fantastic skate park, which would probably be a little bit better in the summer, but even today it's quite fun. There's a playground over there with some fairly dilapidated swings. I think that could do with a little bit of investment, but I didn't know this was here. This is awesome for older kids. We're now at Oxspring Park. They've got some outdoor gym equipment as well as some really good play equipment for all ages inside the play area itself. We're in Thurgoland now, which is a little village near Penniston in the little play area near the village hall. I'm not sure I'm going to fit down that slide, um, but it's, it's nicely painted and nicely kept. This is Station Road Playground in Dodworth. Uh, otherwise known as uh, the secret park because it is so hard to find. It's quite a good little play area with lots of equipment for the kids. Um, not many people here today, wonder why. Just approaching the playground in the park at High Green. This is great, it's a bit different. I love that climbing frame and another skate park which is fantastic again for older children. I love this slide. I might wait till it's a bit drier to try it out. Here we are at the playground in Chapeltown Park, another great play area with some really different play equipment, particularly like the all-weather sandpit, which I know would be a great hit with small kids. So an outdoor gym on the hill, which I think they're a great idea, keeping fit outdoors, great for all the community. We're in Ecclesfield Park. Uh, there's some good play equipment for younger kids. There's a adventure playground, zip wire, and it's in a beautiful setting, a big green space in the centre of the community. This is the fantastic new skate and scooter park in Grenoside Park. It shows what community groups can do. Uh, and here's the playground. And finally, we come to Coronation Park in Utebridge. Now this park is really, really special to me. It's where we've been coming since my kids were babies. We come here after school in the summer and meet loads of people we know. It's where we have the gala and sports night and all kinds of community events. It's got a kids play area, toilet, um, basketball, football, swings. We play in the river in the summer, which is fantastic. It could do with some things for older children to do and also I'd love it to have a cafe, but it's just such a great community space. Community spaces like this are so important to all of our lives and that's why I believe that new housing developments, which we do need, should be built with community spaces like this at the centre of them. We weren't made to live lives on our own. We need places to meet, to play, to catch up with friends, walk dogs, do exercise and just be outdoors. Parks are a place where people from all walks of life and all generations can come together. They form an important part of our local identity. We have some great parks and playgrounds in Penniston and Stocksbridge, but some of them need some investment, particularly to provide activities for older children. As a mum, I don't know what I'd do without facilities like this, and I will definitely be working hard to protect and promote our fantastic parks.